Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42. And I'm here with Aidan Legault, Youth Commissioner from Manitou Conference. Aidan, you were one of 13 pilgrims who took the scenic route to Connor Brook. <laughs> you traveled 8,000 kilometers across this country from the Pacific to the Atlantic in a very intentional way. Can you tell us something about why you went on this pilgrimage? Uh, sure. Um, the 13 of us, there was one representing each uh, conference. We met up in Vancouver on the 4th of July and then traveled across and got here on the 5th of August. And the intent was uh, to experience the different cultures of each different conference that we visited. We got to visit each one and also to see some of the problems that each conference has to address. Um, the problems that are addressed in Alberta Northwest Conference are completely different than the problems addressed in the Maritimes Conference, for example. There are similarities, but um, they're just different ideas, uh, different perspectives that we got. Um, at each conference we got to participate in different volunteer work, we got to meet different people and just experience the greatness of our church and to see the kind of work that we're doing um, so that we're as educated and understanding as we can be uh, working as commissioners here at General Council. So can you share with us uh, one experience that stands out? You've had many, but is there one that just is uh, very vivid to you right now? Um, I have to consider one of my highlights as our visit to Winnipeg. It was an amazing experience um, for two reasons. The first day we got to spend with uh, the members of uh, the All Native Circle Conference. We visited the Sandy Soto Center, which is a training center uh, for diaconal and lay ministers in the Aboriginal community. Um, we got to learn about sweat lodge ceremonies. We got to learn about medicine wheel practices and interestingly, the new crest of the United Church, which for features the four directional colors. Um, it was just interesting, really, really interesting for me to learn so much about a culture that really a lot of us in the United Church don't know a lot about, even though it's becoming more and more important in our daily spiritual practices. Um, so that was fascinating for me, and I had uh, a lot of fun, and I got to ask some great questions that I had. So now yeah. that you're here at General Council doing the work that every other commissioner is doing, what difference do you think the pilgrimage is making in how you are working as a commissioner? Um, it has definitely given me more knowledge about what the different proposals mean because we've gotten to talk to a lot of the people who drafted the proposals so we got to ask them questions what did you mean about one order of ministry what did you mean about three structures um, so that was really important for us and then it also gave us a lot of social justice perspectives in our commissions in blueberry for example um, they're talking a lot about the palestinian israeli conflict that's going on right now when we were in toronto we got the chance to talk about that with some experts so that's given us perspective i'm in the bake apple commission which is talking about environmental justice and divestment uh, throughout our journey we've been learning about environmental justice uh, in the united church and we've gotten to ask specific questions of people who know a lot about that field um, so it's been a really, really enriching experience, and I think it's definitely made the pilgrims, and not to toot our own horns, I'm not meaning this in an arrogant way at all, but it has made us some of the more knowledgeable commissioners going into this, at least from Youth Forum, just because we have those really, really vital perspectives. Um, now, it's very clear that the older commissioners here are thrilled that, that you youth commissioners are here and active. Your worship leadership was enthusiastically received. You yourself got a standing ovation when you spoke from the heart and moved the court of the general council. What's happening in table groups, in the commissions, are the voices of youth commissioners, are the views of youth commissioners being taken seriously when the work is being done? I feel that we are so blessed in this church to have youth who are very passionate and I think that the older members of the church definitely realize that. I feel at my table group at least, I'm with another youth, and both of us are listened to attentively and our ideas and our thoughts and our feelings are definitely taken very well and into consideration. They don't treat us like we're different. In fact, they, they make the effort to actually make sure that we feel comfortable talking because we're commissioners and we're delegates and they want our opinions because they think that they're valuable. Um, in the Bake Apple Commission, uh, we're more than welcome to stand up at the microphone. I got the chance to do so twice, um, just to share my ideas and my opinions. And while I feel I am a bit nervous, sometimes speaking my mind in front of people with so much experience and so much knowledge about the church, um, it feels good to know that I'm valued and to know that my friends are valued as well and that our opinions are really cared about. 
Aiden, thank you so thank much you. for talking with us today. Aiden Legault, one of the 13 pilgrims, if you want to find out more about their pilgrimage, if you want to find out more about what's happening here at GC42, then go to gc42.ca. Thank you.